Coming up on Cardinals Insider, get to know new Cardinals pitcher Stephen Matz. Well, I've always kind of admired the Cardinals organization from afar, um, just the way they went about things and their winning organization. You know, I think one of the most winning organizations in, in the history of baseball. Plus, get on the field with Lars Newtbar. I think I'm so focused sometimes I forget things, you know. And later, Whitey Herzog sets the table for a year of 1982 celebrations. But the funny thing was, we got so good at what we were trying to do that we scored just as many runs on the road by doing the things that we did fundamentally. Those stories and more ahead on Cardinals Insider. I'm extremely excited. Um, some of the best fans in baseball. Inside corner and a strikeout for Steven Matz. A swing and a miss. Matz picks up strikeout number three and two in the inning. Got it. There's another one. There's a good breaking ball. Seven strikeouts for Matz. Struck him out swinging. Swing and a miss. Cut on a miss. Cut on and miss. And down he goes swinging. Swing and a miss. He put him away. Welcome to Cardinals Insider. I'm Ozzie Smith. That was new cards lefty Stephen Matz. He signed with St. Louis this past November. Matz most recently pitched for Toronto, but Cardinal fans remember him from his time with the Mets. Get to know Stephen better during this week's Player Profile. Stephen Matz. Stephen will be a great fit for us. We think he's a really good pitcher. And down he goes swinging. Two strikeouts in the inning for Matt. He's left-handed. He throws strikes. They get seven strikeouts for Matt. We think he'll take advantage of our defense and our ball bar. In play to the right side and a routine ground ball. Two up and two down. We think he's a winner. Back three call. How about that? Three strikeouts in the inning. You know, we really feel like going into 2022, we have strengthened our rotation and Bill he'll be a great anchor to that. Well, I've always kind of admired the Cardinals organization from afar, um, just the way they went about things and their winning organization. You know, I think one of the most winning organizations in, in the history of baseball. And so that's extremely attractive. You know, that's why we play this game, just to win World Series. And so that was uh, a huge reason. The Cardinals just felt like a great fit, ultimately and uh, an extremely exciting team um, with incredible defense. I'm excited to pitch with uh, amazing defense behind me. You know, even the guys that didn't win gold gloves are, are really good fielders. You know, the thought of throwing to Yadier Molina is, you know, extremely exciting. You know, talking with my wife Taylor, and we wanted to kind of have some certainty on where we're going to be. My wife's a musician. She's a Christian artist, so uh, her, her brother and her sister are in a band called Kane. When I met her, she was just getting started with it. And so um, these past couple years have really, it really took off. And so kind of been in that journey with her a little bit. I will say I get pretty nervous for her up there. When she's up there on the stage and all eyes are on her, I'm, I'm pretty nervous there sitting watching. So this past off season, um, my wife Taylor surprised me with a box and it was baby shoes. We found out we were having a baby girl or found out we were having a baby, didn't know the gender at that point. But that was the best gift uh, I ever got. I was blown away. We're excited to bring Stephen to St. Louis with his wife, Taylor. Uh, we really believe that, that this is an ideal fit. Really, this is what I've wanted to do since I was, since as long as I can remember, and same thing for her. You know, she's, she's always wanted to do music, so you know, I just feel really blessed to be able to both live it out. Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. We mic up Lars Newtbar. And in a little while, celebrate a championship year. It just seemed like everything just fell together because of the type of people I had. Lars Newtbar has become a fan favorite. His name draws interest, 
but a fun-loving personality and energy have endeared him to Cardinals Nation. We stuck a mic on Lars during spring training, and here's what we heard. Oh, is you blow mic up right now? Yeah, I am. You gave a warning. I gave everybody a warning. Is that me? Yeah. Yeah, Pete, what field are we on? Are we right here? Okay. Turner was getting in my head right there. Talking about where's field three. We switch around fields so much. Like class periods. So I guess we'll go on that side then. Didn't that right? No, it was, uh, oh yeah, also at Dodger Stadium. Remember for the playoff game? Yeah, Dodger, Dodger Stadium. Stadium. That's what it was. You said you were going to text the club. You didn't ever hear back from that guy. Yeah. That's money, Pop. <laughs> Mike's gone. <laughs> Mike's crushed. What am I sliding for? Oh my god, that's tumbling. Mic on, camera on. Swing shuts off. It's gonna be like the clips in Sandlot where the kids like roll over to third baseman and the next thing you know they show them like going over the fence. Oh, Look at that knuckleball. Knuckleball. Kids, check this out. Gotta bring this one out. But why does he have all these stats on it? Those, those are mine. Those are mine. What's oh, 11,400? It's the MOI of the bat. The hell? That kind of feels good, though. I know. Oh. I see you trying to get TV time. <laughs> I gotta think like uh, like T Rex Pennebaker. What? You knew T Rex Pennebaker? <laughs> Guy from Mr. 3000. <laughs> That's Nolan, T Rex Pennebaker. You have to establish it right away though. Yeah, so it's gotta be, it's gotta be. So, Mr. Bates, boom, boom, boom. I swear, <laughs> Goldie was like, Goldie was like at the at the brown or at the dark green last year. That's why I didn't finish college. <laughs> I told you I couldn't remember all my periods. First period, second period, I don't know where they are. I think I'm so focused sometimes I forget things, you know. It's good. I know. I need I need kids around me. Kids gives that content. I'm not gonna also say it either on the camera. Delete, <laughs> delete. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> and I'll start rolling again. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I thought I didn't have my batting gloves out here. They're right here. Look at it. What's wrong with me, Sos? <laughs> I hit BP with my batting gloves on, and I thought I didn't bring my batting gloves out here. Something, man. And if you enjoy tagging along with Lars, check out our YouTube page for similar content. But for now, there's more Cardinals Insider after the break, so stay with us. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the 1982 World Championship. That team will always hold a special place in Cardinals history. We'll be recalling memories from 82 all summer. But we start with an overview told by Whitey Herzog. I think the big thing with Gussie was, you know, he hadn't been in the, in the World Series since 68. And he said, I kept talking, he wanted to get there one more time, and at the time, I, he said, all I want is to ride the Chrysler's in and another World Series game, just one more time, he said, before I pass away. And Gus, he said, point blank, he says, well, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I said, I want to clean house. I want to go a different direction. I want to take every, get every scout in here. I want us to start drafting where speed is the most important thing. I want every left-hand hitter in the minor leagues that we have already signed to see if they can switch hit, and we'll go from there. So to my surprise, 
He said, do it. When we got Ozzy after that, bringing him to my ball club and seeing him in spring training, he was the icing on the cake. I mean, I knew he was great, but I didn't realize that he was as good as he really was. We played baseball. We had to play baseball different than anybody else. But the funny thing was, we got so good at what we were trying to do that we scored just as many runs on the road by doing the things that we did fundamentally. Picking up the runs, having a guy on second with no outs. If we didn't get a hit, we advanced him to third. Or it didn't take a hit to, stride, to get that run home. In early innings, if we got Ronnie Smith on second, I'll guarantee you, her got him to third. Ozzy got him to third when he hit second. And it was just amazing. And then, of course, you got Hernandez up there, a great contact hitter that put that ball in play. They played back, he did a grounder. If he didn't get a hit, he did a hard grounder at second base. And we had one run. And all of a sudden, instead of being down four to two in the seventh, we're up four to two. And that's how we continued to win. It just seemed like everything just fell together because of the type of people I had. Bruce Souter, for the seven years before he left and went to Atlanta, he was the most dominant relief pitcher I've ever seen. When I brought him in, in a safe situation, he, he got it done 95, 98% of the time. A swing and a miss, and that's a winner! That's a winner! A World Series winner for the Cardinals! But my 10 years here, and the fact of my relationship with Gussie is really the reason I never went back to manage it. So I've had a wonderful life and it's been because my relationship here and starting in St. Louis, I had a wonderful life. Five modern era players appear on this year's Cardinals Hall of Fame ballot. Voting is open now and runs through April 15th. Take a look at the men up for election. The Cardinals and Edward Jones have teamed up to honor the greatest players in the club's history. And this year, fans will select one of five nominees to receive their red jacket and be inducted into the Cardinals Hall of Fame. Steve Carlton spent the first seven years of his 24-year career here in St. Louis. While playing for the Cardinals, he had a 3.10 ERA, appeared in three All-Star games, and reached the World Series twice, winning in 1967. It is his fifth year on the ballot. George Hendrick came to St. Louis in 1978 and received MVP votes in four of his seven years with the Cardinals. His St. Louis tenure included 112 home runs with 582 RBIs, two All-Star Game appearances, two Silver Slugger awards, and a World Series victory in 1982. This is his first year on the ballot. Matt Morris began his career with the Cardinals in 1997, where he finished second in Rookie of the Year voting behind future teammate Scott Rowland. Over his time in St. Louis, he had a 3.61 ERA, received MVP votes, Cy Young votes, appeared on two All-Star teams, and reached the World Series in 2004. He has been on the ballot for seven years. Edgar Renteria spent six years in St. Louis and hit 286 over that span with a 347 OBP and 769 OPS. He appeared in three All-Star games with the Cardinals, earned three Silver Slugger awards, two Gold Gloves, and received MVP votes in 2003 and 2004 where he reached the World Series with the Cardinals. He has also been on the ballot for seven years. Matt Holliday played eight seasons with the Cardinals from 2009 to 2016, where he hit 156 home runs and 616 RBIs. He made four All-Star teams while playing with the Cardinals and received MVP votes in as many years. He also received one Silver Slugger Award and was part of the 2011 World Series Championship team. This is his first year on the ballot. Cardinals fans can make their selection at cardinals.com slash HOF, and voting is open until April 15th. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Travis Hawkins. Straight ahead, see how Yachty's career got going. Relive his debut when we return.
Yadier Molina says that this is his final big league season. He logged his first hit on June 3rd, 2004 at Pittsburgh. 19 seasons later, he's one of the greatest catchers in baseball history. Here's a look back at his very first big league knock. Welcome to the majors, Mr. Molina. There's Yadier Molina's first base hit in the major leagues. Cardinals Nation Restaurant brings the ballpark atmosphere across Clark Street. This winter, the menu's got a refresh. Here's a look at what's cooking. We're excited to have baseball back. It's great to start out the season with full fans, full stadium, and with that, we've done a new menu with, with our new season. We just opened up uh, with this new menu about three, four weeks ago. Uh, so we're excited to show it off. We're excited to have a full house. A new item here is our pickle fries. There's a love-hate relationship people have with fried pickles, so uh, you either love them or you hate them. But this version here is a, is a skinny pickle that is, that is battered, uh, so it looks like a french fry. And then we've always had a triple club on the menu, and behind me here, we have um, our updated triple club. It's like a triple decker triple club. Uh, and the amount of turkey on it, the bacon, everything that's on it, it's fantastic. It's an impressive sandwich. Local items. We've got, uh, we've got our pretzel bites, which are a local shop here. Twisted Pretzel does our pretzel bites, and they're fantastic. They're probably our number two appetizer after nachos. Hamburgers are great here. We do smash burgers. We have a double mushroom Swiss burger. That's a new one this year. Uh, it's been doing very well. And then a new salad, an updated salad really, is our Southwest chicken salad. And there's always something going on. Um, there's activations all the time. Uh, we have a DJ on weekends on Friday and Saturday nights. So whether there's a baseball game going on or not, there's always a reason to be at Cardinals Nation. Our website has lots of information about the menu and about our operation, and that's cardinalsnation.com. When we return, I'm answering one of your questions. It's Ask Ozzy, and it's up next. Cardinals Insider is a team effort, and that includes you. We'd love to hear from you. To get in touch with the show, head on over to cardinals.com insider and click on the Contact Us tab. And while you're there, you can rewatch old episodes and check out our podcast, too. Welcome to another season of Cardinals Insider. I'm Ozzy Smith. It's all at cardinals.com slash insider. It's time for this week's Ask Ozzy. Alex in St. Louis asks, when did you start loving baseball? And did you love it as a kid? Yes, I did, Alex. I was a young kid in Southern California throwing the ball against the wall and throwing it over the top of the roof, running around the side, hoping that I would catch it before it hit the ground, which I never did. But I always loved the game as a kid. I used to lay on the floor and throw the ball up and get the feel of the ball hitting the glove without seeing it. So yes, my love of the game started as a kid. The thing that I loved most was um, the excitement. Growing up in California, I used to catch the bus out to Dodger Stadium, especially when the Pirates came to town. There was a player by the name of Roberto Clemente that played the game with a certain energy and style, uh, not one that anyone could duplicate, but one that was exciting and it drew my interest. I certainly didn't start out trying to be the guy that influenced the way the game was played. I just played the game to the best of my ability with my God-given talent and I tried to enjoy it every day of my life, which I did for 19 seasons. Well, it's always nice to see little kids in the stands who bring their gloves and, you know, with their little jerseys on. Uh, this is a game that I think that ha has a big influence on young people, so to have been a part of that has always been very, very special to me, and uh, I never took that for granted. Thanks for the questions, Alex. If you want to submit a question, head on over to cardinals.com insider and click the Ask Ozzy tab, and we'll be right back. Earlier in the show, we followed Lars Newbar for a spring training workout. We close with a look back at some of Lars' most memorable moments in this week's Redbird Reels. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, I'm just the new guy on the block, so just trying to fit in as best as possible, but... That ball is down. In the third, Lars Newtbar. First major league hit in Detroit. It's a triple. And a high fly ball out to right. Newtbar back. Oh, he caught it. Newtbar saves the day. I try to play the game hard. I try to play it the right way. And, uh, you know, that's that's hustling and playing defense and, you know, trying to put some good at-bats together. Out to deep right at the wall. Gone! His first career home run. I can hear it all over in St. Louis. Newt Bar back. And has it! Lars Newt Bar with the catch! And he robs Alonzo! We have Little League pictures uh, from when, you know, I was in T ball, you know, in, in the infield of the outfield, just with my tongue out. Newt Bar, a base hit in the center, and the game is tied at three. Newt Bar! Newt Bar in the right! right side base hit the cardinals win it the rookie comes through nude bar that's it for this episode you can always catch us online at cardinals.com insider plus new episodes appear on youtube each sunday thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week